and files one on me and James. You people have gone and lost your fucking minds. If you think I'm going to sit back like a scared girl in the corner, hell no, bitches. I'm coming for all your little asses. I'm going to air out all your shit. So there's that. I don't have to stalk you to do it. I don't have to threaten you. I'm letting you know I'm correcting all of y'all's lies. All of them. Because you know why? You know I have the truth on all of you. I have all the chats, not just Lana's. So that should make your butt tighten up a little bit. Quit being such dicks to everybody. Quit putting out everybody's information and we won't have to have these kind of things. That happen, right? Put my fucking kids up again. It would be like the fourth phone call to the cop and I promise you that's going to be the limit. Like I'm not to tolerate it anymore. I told them, do not go investigate it. I just, you know, I'm just documenting it in case some crazy person, you know, takes it too far, right? And and comes for my kids or me or whatever. And things get out of hand, I understand. But you leave my fucking kids out of it. And dude, I was set up and come on here and not cuss, but y'all, y'all know I'm Aunt Lala. Those are my babies. Don't mess with them. And don't put out fake ass reports on me. Because, bitch, you didn't scare me. You pissed me off. So, Elaine, Diane, Lana, get ready, bitches. Put it all out there. Because you know you have fucked up. Yo, Mod Squad, I told Mod Squad, like, I was actually there gracious towards Mod Squad. Because when I knew all this shit was going to go down, I tried extending an olive branch. I'm like, yo, dude, look, Lana's shit is going to fucking crumble and you still have a little bit, of, you know, because at the time people still looked at Mod Squad as somewhat reasonable. You know what I'm yeah, saying? I did, that's so what I was like, was dude, just fucking, mm-hmm. yeah, like I was like, dip while you can because this shit's going to get fucked up. And if you stay too long, you're going to be grouped in with her and that's it. Now you're fucking, you're Lana's thing. Like, that's what Mod Squad is. Congratulations, Mod Squad. Yeah. You are now Lana's fucking thing. So when Lana goes down, you're going to be running around the community with your fucking head down because everyone's always going to know that you are there doing the same yep. fucking shit, encouraging, encouraging the same fucking shit. He's the one that's told Lana to, to say that I'm abusing my patient. Who, who hacks stuff? Nobody. <laughs> Me either. Me either. <laughs> Oh Lana just she just gave me her password. I just recommended that they change it. <laughs> <laughs> I know I took it I took it over already. It's yeah, where have you wait, where have you guys been? Where have you guys been? Right. Look what I got to here. I made it to uh, Yeah, she's that. already made a police report. You're oh lying. my god. Prove it. God. Oh my Hashtag god. Prove it. <laughs> Okay. I'm live here. Yay. But I also I believe I probably more. I won't um, change my bet, but that you had for um, I really Walsh thought that mod squad would it, fucking wake up in and, what was and going on get the fuck away from Lana. I absolutely that feel the opposite about Boston because I think that Boston that really fucking it, something something something. I won't say. Caused from from a. Maybe Did her son say it though? That Just Ms. kidding. Walsh, um, had uh, not wished to follow you um, or to associate with you, and that led. See, this is Magistrate Russell. This was my fact finder in my Tiro hearing out in Colorado, and this magistrate went ahead and Googled me before my hearing with her so to then have a you know prejudice. Mind. And, and no longer a um, unbiased courtroom against me. Done. Yeah. And so any conversation... This is what this panel is doing. Well, you know, I know she Aunt Lala, well, KK, they are talking so about a, I mean, I know what it's a hot mic <clears throat> that exposes she started with, Magistrate she Russell. KK called the courts after listening to an audio from my TRO hearing and got the courts to delete the last four minutes of the original audio transcripts. <laughs> Then she tried to go on this big old thing about to the moon. Like, did you know this? Did your people not tell you? Are you looking at the loop? And so I went over, when I got sent that to me, I was hoping that moon was live and she was. So I clicked the link and I was like, hey girl. I was like, Lana's trying to sit here and clown you or be stupid about something. But let me just put her back in her little freaking clown car herself. Yeah. All, all it is, is 
and she's trying to act like it's a big deal. That when there's, I mean, the mic is it's just embarrassing for her. That's oh, it's horrible for her. It's horrible for her. And as a matter of fact, I didn't even put it out there because it was so bad. Well, because of the message that, so I did, I messaged the records and I was like, Hey, just out of professional courtesy, there is a hot mic. I don't know if you want to have that yes. on there as a, for, yes. as far as the record, if you want to clip that or if you want to have it, whatever they end up editing it out. But, um, so I went over to the moon. I just told her, I'm like, that's all that it was. How did KK like, know that they edited it out? Telling me what it so is she just taking the word of myself? Because I went live and said that it was edited out? How would she know that the four minutes was deleted? I mean, since it's been edited off of the of the yeah. file, is it a big yeah. deal to share it? Um, because it's terrible for Lana. I mean, if she, she yeah, wants that for Lana, why is she bragging? If it was so that, terrible you know, for Lana, then, then why would you call and get it deleted? That's what they're, you know, that makes they no that sense. About Vanessa at the end. No, so. they did not. I was no. like, no, girl, no, no, that's no, no. She's, that's she's, okay, if that's if that's the story going around, that is one thousand percent false. It makes me. No, it was so all bad. about Lana. It was so bad. But I will about say, remember who's KK? She texts Sarah. You're gonna find yeah, all that's about that's KK true. and how she, she has made it a personal said, interest to, to try to get KK. my parental like rights completely terminated for me and my minor child. And then she runs her mouth a little longer. But there, I mean, like I said, there, Lana is like she. When she would lie for her four minutes. Oh, yeah. And the reason that Kim Kaufman has to be on this panel is because she got her YouTube channel terminated for violation of terms of service. I can play what she said. Yeah. You can play what she said. This girl legit has been obsessed with me since 2018. I won something today. Wow. Okay. Hey, Cam. And what sounds fake? I'm like behind in chat. And then we all know I suck it. And creator, I can't uh, do chat and talk and blah 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 blah. Yeah, this was my life for the past two years with people like this. Make sure you guys click subscribe, you don't want to miss this documentary. fish, park in the car, you know? And that's why I love one of my best friends. That's Boston. And again, she's still trying to teach me to speak it, trying to learn Boston here.